Welcome back, survivors, to another episode of Seven Days to Die. True survival mod on my PC. So, I'm coming back to that sweet, awesome POI that we found earlier that had the whole ton of loot in it. Oh, we got a crawler coming our way. Uh, but before we do that, I realized we left an airdrop back here. So let's hit that sucker up first. I got uh, swamped by zombies, so I was busy taking them out. But we've made it back. It's the next day, it's the next morning. I spent the time overnight, got my health up, got my thirst up. We're good to go again for a another loot run because that building has a lot of loot in it. Now, someone did comment on the video, which uh, did make sense at the time. You know, maybe you shouldn't, um, you know, loot all the stores because there's no re-loot right now. And, uh, I, I, you know, I thought that makes a little bit of sense, but I've been corrected since because... Loot will drop, like guns and stuff, will drop at certain... Oh, you know what? I need all of this. I'm going to take it all. Wow, that's not even that much in that airdrop. Damn it. But special items, will, like uh, gun co components, will only drop at low levels. They actually don't improve. I do believe it was Spider that actually corrected me on that one, the guy who makes a mod. So I do stand corrected, so we can go and loot everything if we want to. It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, the quality Joe must get, like, the quality of uh, other stuff up. I actually have no idea. But whatever. We'll find out more as we go down the road through this uh, playthrough here. So this was the sucker right here we had to take a look at. This place is full of loot. You got all the... Like, look at all these crates back here. We got all these chests here. We got some bookcases. We got uh, some gas containers and explosive con uh, explosives in the back. And I can get to those by just breaking through that back wall. I don't even have to worry about this. Um, even even if I was to break through that side there and get through and then break a supply crate. Oh, and there's those, those ones on top there. You need a steel tool to get into those. And then you can break them down and get in. But you won't be able to get into those suckers unless you have that steel tool. And there's a whole bunch of... Oh, these are mines back here. Oh, oh wow, look at that. There are little mines sitting there. That's, that's kind of cool, actually. Uh, where, what was... Was it on this side? I swear I seen one. Ah, yes. And this one here has a whole bunch of backpacks in it. So we're going to go and uh, search that one as well. But this place is like a Ludapalooza. It's, it's pretty freaking crazy. Look, look, there's even a purse down here. There's just so much stuff to go and explore. We're actually going to go ahead and scrap that. Uh, can of chili. You know what? I'm going to go scrap that right off the bat too. That might trigger a few people, but whatever. Uh, moldy bread we need for fish lures. And nuts and bolts, we're going to just go ahead and scrap them too. We're actually really, really close to getting our first workbench. And that would be the anvil. And then we can start making stuff like hammers. Whoa! Okay, I was like, what the hell was that noise? That freaked the fuck out of me. I didn't look at the um, the actual text of the chest before I opened it, and that noise tripped me right out. It's an Apache artifact chest. That is freaking cool as hell. Nice. Nah, so let's see what this bad boy has for us. I was not expecting that one at all. That one threw me right off guard. Uh, oh. Oh, I want one of these. Every time you open it, it does uh, the little Apache song for you. That's pretty damn cool. Uh, what's over in here? I'm so distracted right now. Oh, these are the washrooms. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see if these cans got anything for us. Just a bunch of shit. Uh, I'll come back to these garbage cans, I guess, if I really need the shit at point down the road. But I do not see myself farming anytime soon i mean i don't even have like a real base or anything i can build yet so let's actually go ahead and open up oh we got another apache chest let's check this sucker out oh the colors are slightly different okay so that's how you can tell the difference between them i've only actually come across one of these in a random gen world so um that's not that's not too often or was it no was it random gen I'm pretty sure it was random gen. Either that or it was my uh, early playthroughs. Oh, and we got another uh, airdrop coming in. Duct tape, I'll always take that. Actually, oh, I don't have my stone on me. I was trying to make as much room as possible this time around. Okay, where is it? Ooh, it's right over there. Is it, is it that close? Ooh, that's not close at all. Yeah, that's not worth going for. That can sit there until we get close to it again and I can uh, loot it one day. If I had a mini bike, I might go for it, but since I uh, done broke my mini bike on the cop's head, you're definitely not going to be able to do that. 
Nah, I already know this, but you know what? I'm going to read it anyways. And these papers, I need for fishing lures as well, too, so that also comes in handy. Like, I literally almost need every single thing I can find. Oh, there's a shopping cart I didn't touch here. Let's see what this has for us. Now that's some carrot cake. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and eat that up right away. I are back up to 93%. It's nice not starving anymore. It's a good feeling. Oh. Oh, I see what this is. Oh, that's clever. I like that. I've never even thought about that before. Wow, the simple things. Okay, let's see what this cash register got. One paper. Well, thank you, cash register. Uh, shopping cart. Well, I guess you can't expect much for a place that looks like this, right? Now, as my scavenging's up to 33, we're getting there. Let's see what these boxes have for us. Man, even that few extra seconds you get off makes a huge difference. Oh, that's locked. So what we need to do is break it open. And see what this food supply chest has for us. And I think these ones explode, the ones that are locked. Ooh, look at the size of this thing. Yeah, the ones that are locked explode, and the ones that you have to break open do not. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to get the five paper off that um, container because it doesn't reload anyways. I never even thought about doing that in vanilla because, well, of course, stuff reloots, right? So you don't break it down. But I never thought about breaking those things down until a playthrough like this one. Oh, and look at that. There's another chest sitting underneath as well, too. Cool. Oops. <laughs> Compound bow and 20 carbon arrows. Not even paying attention. It just says untouched, and I just broke it open. But uh, that was pretty sick, though. We got another uh, another high-level weapon. We're going to save that, I think, for Horde Knight or a really sticky situation. But we'll take a look, too, and see what level it is. Power Line Master? Oh, sweet. So, uh, power lines. I got 23 power lines out of a working stiff uh, crate. That's awesome. 520 plus 20 carbon arrows. I will take that. Thank you very much. Let's see what else this uh, baby has for us. I've only gotten, like, the carbon. I know there's other weapons and stuff, too. I'm pretty sure there's axes and swords. I, th um, I think I heard something about a katana. Oh, wow. 38 of these things. I bet these things are expensive to make um, on True Survival as well, too. All right. So, this one's going to explode here after we... Uh, break her open so let's see what she has for us whoa no way oh that's awesome you know what i'm gonna put i'm gonna put this down but i'm gonna put it in that underground bunker we have because i i gotta start moving stuff over and getting organized that way as well too um i'm gonna have to spend like a, i think a whole day cycle doing that but sweet i got a woodworking bench ahead of time man this loot run this loot run, though, like, look, look at all the stuff we have to, to loot. Holy crap, man. Okay, what do we got? We got electronic components and fertilizer. Um, not really worth it, but since it's going to explode, I'll do that anyways. And I keep trying to lo open locked containers. Mechanical parts. Fertilizer. There we go. Uh, and that one's locked, so it's going to explode as well. Man, I am pumped about that woodworking table. You guys have no idea. No idea. That's that's uh, that gives me a little bit of an advantage now. That's freaking sick. Okay, so what do we have on us? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and scrap that because we don't need it. Uh, cornmeal I can actually use because I can make stuff out of it, like recipes and whatnot. That cigar can go screw itself. And what else do we got? Okay, we still have some. We still have some room going on. Let's see what this mystery crate is. I hope it's a working stuff. Ah, oh, it's a shamway. Whatever. I'll fill my stomach up while we're at it then. And then break it down for its uh, for its paper. Come on, Shamway. What do you got? Old sham sandwiches and some scrap plastics. Ugh, I'm not even going to bother. Holy crap, these ones don't break down like the other ones? You only get three paper off of them as well, too. Okay, noted. These ones give a little bit more than the Shamway ones do. It's a little odd. Because, like, that one's one hit and five paper. I guess this is more of a cardboard box, so, than a shipping container. Uh, we're gonna scrap that, and take the glue, and bam. And I have seen a few people mention why, um, why I was tossing out glue early on, because to make, uh, uh, to make duct tape, there we go, you need to make it in the, uh, chemistry station. So I, I can't make duct tape by hand, it has to be done in the chemistry station, so I has no choice at all. Oh, look at that. I got just one pill off of that. Whatever. I'll take it. 
glass jar, explode. That's freaking awesome. I love the exploding containers. It's a nice little touch. All right, what else we got in here? We searched all this stuff here. We searched these. We still have the explosives room. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that one, getting in there. Um, hopefully I can steal those barrels. Man, uh, might have to, you know what? I'm gonna scrap one of those shitty knives. Those knives are okay, but they're not that great anymore. My stone knives do just as good as good of a job now. All right, cooler, give me something good. What do you got? Blueberry juice. That's actually quite useful. I'll take that. Okay, so doors. Oh, it's unlocked. Okay, easy enough. Um, this looks like something that would have a trap in it, so I'm gonna be very careful. And it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's just <laughs> it's just empty. I was all like ready to like step on a landmine or potentially see a landmine. Ooh, bedrolls. I can actually scrap these. That's a lot of scrap. Look at all these bedrolls. They're all over the place. We're gonna get a lot of cloth from this place as well, too, because I'm gonna want to break down all of this stuff. Oh, you can pick up camel netting? Oh. Nice. I did not know that. I was gonna break them down, but I'm gonna pick those up. We're going to keep that. That way the zombies can't see us. <laughs> and I know that's not true, guys, but it's still kind of cool that you can pick these suckers up. I'm down for that. Oh, I can't pick up the angled ones because I have too much space. Um, you know what? <laughs> I don't have the tools to make arrows on me either. Okay, what do I have that's absolute garbage? Such a sacrifice sometimes. Uh, electronic components. I can get those down the road. I do not need those at all right now. So I'll sacrifice those for those angle blocks. Now, I don't want to uh, allow these to collapse at all either. It'd be such a waste. Oh, this is awesome. Camel netting. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this, guys, but we'll do something fun with it. We'll find we'll find a purpose. Totally worth it. There we go. Nice. And then these the tents and those small things, too, they actually break down to quite a bit of... Oops. Damn it. They actually quite, break down to quite a bit of cloth. Now, if you're doing this, I don't recommend collapsing it. Because you get far less material from collapsing stuff than you do breaking it down manually. Oh, see, I, I lost a few and it didn't even drop any cloth on the ground. Oh wow, we're gonna have a ton. And what what kind of what, what kind of tent is this? That's not a tent. Is that, is that a tent for a dog? It's got to be a dog tent, if I've ever seen one, which I haven't. We'll take these for the supplies as well too. And you know what? Why not? Cloth? Hell, you know what? Uh, I don't have room in my inventory, but since I'm going to have so much cloth from this, I can start grinding other stuff overnight as well, too. Uh, instead of just, like, randomly organizing. But damn, I have so much stuff that I'm going to have to organize into that new place. I can't believe I got that workbench. That is freaking awesome. This is, like, hands down the best loot run I've had. And we haven't even gotten to the explosive stuff yet. That's going to be real neat to check out. Uh, can I pick these up? Oh, I could pick up sandbags, though. Oh, sandbags. Those are cool that you can pick those up. Okay, you know what? Cornmeal can go screw itself. <laughs> oh, look at that. They're all staying together. They didn't fall. I cannot pick up the spikes because uh, I think they're, they're placed. And I don't think I could pick these up either. That'd be cool if you could pick those suckers up. You should be able to, though, because they're just a fence thing. That would be nice. All right, what else do we have in here that I can break down before we go and search the other stuff? Not much. This is a cool, uh, it's like an, I guess it's uh, an open air market idea going on. See if the desk puts out. Sometimes these will drop weapons for you. Nothing. Man, uh, you'd almost have to do like, if you were doing to do a proper loot run, you'd have to do like three or four runs back and forth. If you were to save everything, it'd be absolutely nuts. All right, nothing in the filing cabinet. Nah, let's check this filing cabinet and hope for a recipe. Or a schematic, because I definitely need them. Nada. Oh, we got a sink. Let's hope for a wrench. A wrench would be amazing at this point in time. Two glass jars. Well, thank you very much, empty old sink. I didn't need much of those. I really want another wrench. I, was, I pulled a stupid and broke my last one, talking about not breaking it. Yep, that's how I roll. Uh, purification tablet. Ah, whatever. Those are really good early game. But I don't really need them anymore now. Whoa. There's a whole supply room back here I'd even know about. Holy crap. Look at that. We got uh, food. We got ammo. 
We got another ammo, shamway, uh, weapons, explosives, pill case. Holy crap, lockers, another... F wow! This is like a huge supply run. I, I never even thought there would be a big supply room in the back here. This is insane. Okay, what we got for food? We got another steak knife. I'm actually just going to go ahead and start scrapping these. Because we have... I have so many now, it's not even... Not even worth the time. Okay, what's this got for us? Ooh, three TNT and some... Ooh, oh, man. See ya, glue. Uh, what else we got? See ya, stone knife. TNT and nitroglycerin. Nice. This? This might get us into one of those POIs that I really want to get into that I just don't have the materials yet. That would be very handy for that. We also have some back home already, but... I mean, I'll always take some tea and... Damn, we still got all those other supply crates back at that other spot to search as well, too. That's insane. Nice, another 9 carbon arrows. Ooh, an 18 gunpowder? That's worth it. Uh, see you later, moldy bread. <laughs> I'm gonna have to really start making some sacrifices. Or, I could stash them um, somewhere else in the building, but... Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we'll take that to paper. Thank you very much. Man, these shamway crates, they take forever to search. And nothing. Damn it. Alright, let's see what we have for weapons. So you have to have to make any uh, sacrifices. Actually, you know what? This is permanent, right? Uh, what I'm going to do, because I have tons of paper back at the base, and we really don't need the camel netting, is I will actually stash them in there. That way, if I open this thing and it explodes, I don't you know lose all my stuff and have it all over the floor and... You know, pull another one of those moves. Alright, what do we got? Nice, a crossbow with 40 bolts and hunting rifle parts. I will take all of that, thank you very much. Nice. And then we got um, explosives there as well. So I'm going to put more common items like the, um, the sandbags in there. What else? Oh, these I need to scrap down. That is right. Sweet. Okay, let's uh, let's open up this bad boy and see what we have for more explosives. Man, we're going to be going back to base, ready to take out, like, a whole POI ourselves. Nice. My athletics is now 28 as well, too. 8. Double 16. Nice. 8 TNT. 39. Oh, my God. Look at the rounds. This is insane. This loot run is nuts. You know what? I'm going to toss up my bow as well, too, because pff, I could just make a new one when I get back. No big deal. I have tons of supplies. Just not on me. Vitamins. Uh, we will actually use those right now. They, uh, they'll they give us a little bit of wellness. Nice. We're up to 94 now. Almost back up to that 100. Sweet. This episode's going freaking awesome. I can't believe the loot in this place. This was worth a trip big time. And it's almost nighttime too. We're going to have to... Uh, I think we can make it home. I'm pretty sure we can make it home from here. We'd, oh, no. You know what? We might not be able to make it home, because I got that whole other side to search. I might end up spending the night on top of this building. So let's hope I get all the valuables all searched up, so that they don't end up destroying something that's uh, valuable. Okay, nerdy glasses, definitely scrapping those. Uh, they can give me three iron. Uh, lockers. I'm really crossing my fingers for another um, headlamp. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Let's scrap that as well, too. Those aviator goggles don't give much, but hell, it's something, right? Okay, what's this food supply got for us? Uh, we got an empty can. Can scrap that. Some more water and chicken rations. Should I eat those? Hydration? Uh, the wellness is not a big deal. Yeah, we'll eat those up. There we go. And scrap the can. Sweet. So I don't have to really worry about my thirst or my hunger. I'm still doing pretty good on that. Man, what a loot run on this place. Holy shit. That's all I have to say. Alright, so we got that. We got that. We got that. We got all this crap. So I think the only thing we actually have left is to actually break into this side. Uh, so what I'm going to do is mark these. Oh, are these? I thought this was on the back of the building. Oh, you know what? It's going to be a little tricky. So we have to get through uh, actually back this way. Here we go. We should be able to reach like one or two or three of the bags this way. There we go. What do you got for us? Give us something good. Ha! Iron. You won't get the best of me. Whoa, what is this? Uh, TPX bats? I like it. 
I like it a lot. All right, what can I get rid of here? Uh, I don't want to get rid of duct tape. Uh, glass jars, I guess I can... I still want to keep feathers, too. This is sick. Uh, entity damage. That's a lot of entity damage. Wow, look at the blunt trauma on this thing. Yeah, nice. We found a freaking sick weapon. This is insane. All right, what do we got here? Nada. But we could probably break this one open very quickly and reach that third one because I think we have to go back into the supply room and break through in random spots on that side. Oh, we got some more rounds. You know what? I don't have the room for them, so we're just going to go ahead and scrap it. There we go. Okay. So this goes into that back room, I think. Yeah, right there. You know what? I'll get in through this way. And I... Oh, you know what? I didn't have a campfire. I hope it's not raining or anything out. My temperature seems to be fine, so... I won't be able to keep myself warm. I don't even have a torch, to be honest. What do we got here? Ah, we just got junk. Junk. I don't even have room for uh, empty glass jars. Glass jars anymore. More, uh, more scrap. And moldy backpack. I think that's the last one. We got these these ones over here, so we should have them all now. Nice. Nah, that does make some good scrap. Uh oh. What is? Uh, oh, that's right. These ones break down to friggin'. There we go. Whatever. You could drop the items on the ground. That's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and scrap that. Those things give a decent amount. Forty-five. Yeah, definitely worth the scrap. All right, cool. So we got all the bags. We just have to break open over to this side. We still got a few daylight hours here that we can get this done. All right, what do we got? Slowly going through it with my power attack. Oh, you know what? What am I doing? Just break through right here and go right into the room. Done deal. Sweet, we got some gas barrels. Uh, do I have room for that? Probably not, so let's get rid of some of the wood. I have wood back home. And I don't think I was picking up the destroyed stuff either. No, that's good. Okay, awesome. So what else do I have in here that I can... Ah, steak knife. You know what? Screw that steak knife. Ugh, I really don't want to scrap ammo either. The decisions. Uh, damn it. Okay, I'm going to use that very... Oh, wait, you know what? Scrap that for the stone, and I'll keep that. Oh, actually, I didn't... whatever. Whatever. I'll make room for it. We still have um, a few hours here to go. An hour and a half until I have to get on the top of the roof of this very weak building. Oh, a pipe bomb. Nice. We got another explosive there as well, too. Wow. We're not going to have nearly enough room to get this done. So I'm going to go ahead and actually drink this. Why not? There we go. Oh, I t ate both of those vitamins in a row. I forgot that they give you health. Or, uh, st over a while. I think we, I think I just heard us get some company. Holy shiitake. Um, this is a lot of stuff. Damn it. Okay. Stone, see ya. See, now this is where I'm stuck making, having to make a decision, right? Feathers, yeah, they can go. Bam, just like that. We still got, we still got some supply crates going on down here. Um, are these ones gonna, oh, these ones, I hope this stays up here. I hope these don't fall. That would suck if they fall. Um, there's no way I'm getting into that gun crate. But you know what? What I can do is go hit up... Oh, it's 2100. Go hit up that one spot that I stuck the crap in. It was this side here. Yes, that's right. And put a few things in there, I guess. What don't I need? Uh, I don't need that many cloth fragments. They can go uh, screw themselves. Some gunpowder can stay. Uh, holy crap, decisions. Mechanical parts can stay. I have tons of those. Um, coffee, that can stay. What else we got? Gla an empty glass jar, that can stay as well too. Sweet, okay. Uh, let's go back over. We still have a few minutes before we're risking it, before I have to cut out and uh, spend the night up top. Let's see what these... Uh, I'm just, I don't want to spend the night wondering what's in these crates. Damn it. Just don't have the patience for it. Oh, I'm going to have to have the patience for it because it takes forever to open one. But let's hope uh, it gives us like some more bow and ammo and stuff. Oh, uh, you know what? Parts, though? I will take parts, even. They definitely have their place. Alright, what we got here? 
Come on, something good. I want like a bat or a melee weapon. The melee weapons are awesome. Like if I got like an axe, a big axe or something. Hunting rifle barrel. Ooh, and that's a decent one too. Uh, shotgun shells and magnum ammo. Alrighty then. Okay, so we still have some ammo down here to loot. Uh, pfft. Okay, well let's just hope it's not anything that um, I don't have room for. <laughs> Uh, there's some more powder, some more rounds. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. Oh, sweet, they do stay, so I can come back at some point in time when I have a steel pickaxe and take this thing down. Okay, I think we're good until nighttime. Nice and night, a bomb. Sweet, look at that. Got it done just in time. How about that? And some more powder. All right, cool. Wow, that pretty much concludes that, guys. So what I'm going to do is nerd pull my ass the way to the top here, spend the night um, kind of going over my shit, seeing what I've got, and then I'm actually going to run back. I'm going to run back in the morning here and drop my stuff off. And then we're going to head back down south, uh, more further down this way. So I'll see you guys here on day 20, nice and bright and early in the morning. And we're back. So we're back here about um, almost as far south as we've gone. And we're going to continue heading south and see what surprises lay for us ahead. Because these POIs are pretty damn kick-ass, and I want to go see what this world has to offer uh, through those POIs. Oh, look at all these zombie friends we have. Now, for the most part, I'm ignoring these guys. They, they can go fuck themselves, uh, because I don't really need to waste this time at this point fighting them. Uh, they're not going to catch up to me. I have a decent amount of stamina. I can uh, keep running if need be. Um, if you look, I'm up to 97 now. We almost hit that 100 mark again. Uh, hopefully I don't do anything stupid and end up dying because that sucks. I hate it when that happens, but hell, it happens, right? And all these cars, I should actually be searching them because the loot time is so incredibly low on... That is why I should be searching these cars. I just found a fucking auger blade. That is... Whoop. Yeah, let's get out of here. Um, that is friggin' that is friggin' awesome though. Oh, did you just take her out? Sweet. I'm gonna see what she has for us. Uh so I needle, I'll just scrap that crap. Alright. Oh, we have a fire truck here too. Let's search that bad boy. It almost looks like a Tonka truck, but you know what? I still like seeing some variety in uh vehicles in the game. Look at these guys. Still coming at me. Just got a couple over this way. Oh shoot, we're gonna be going into a winter biome. I don't have anything warm to wear, so let's hope this thing's not so big, and if it is, I'll just uh, keep cruising through it if I have to. At least in this one as well. I don't have to watch out for any of them freaking landmines. Those things suck. And now, what I'm doing with my arrows is I'm keeping the minimum amount. Oh, you know what? This just might be mountains. Let's see what happens when we go down. But I'm keeping like the minimal amount of stuff in my inventory that, that I need. Like a few stones I pick up here. I'll go grab a few sticks if I need them. And now um, I'm making arrows on the fly instead of just, you know, carrying around an absurd amount of supplies for each. Oh, sweet. We're out of the winter biome now. Okay, that's cool. I can deal with that. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Let's, uh, let's keep going here because it doesn't look like there's much valuable. I guess I could have broke that open and just robbed it, but eh, whatever. Hey, Survivor, what's up? Good to see a few of you down the road. This search is Marlene here. Cigarettes! So many cigarettes. I don't want any cigarettes. Actually, what did cigarettes even do again? It's been so long since I've smoked a cigarette. Let's check it out. Uh, reduces hunger by 10 over 3 minutes. Oh, that's right. It reduces how hungry you are. That that That's true. These can, sa these can save you in a pinch if you're hungry. That is what they're good for. But they're so common. I don't even bother picking them up anymore. Uh, now, I know this piques a few people too, but honestly, for the um, the looting bonus you get from them for how slow the loot is, it's not really worth it to break them open on the garbage cans. That's for sure. There we go. That'll give us a few pieces of iron as well too. And sounds like we had a crawler back there, so he can stay there. He's not bugging me too much. Ooh, ouch. We're not coming across a good biome here. Oh, and a city. Okay, this this is gonna get this is gonna get fucking crazy. I think this is gonna get crazy because this city might might like get us right in the ass. Oh, what's over this way? Let's go check that out because that that's cool. But I can guarantee you, I'm gonna get my ass kicked over there. I want to go check the other stuff out here first, uh, where the road breaks off. It does it over up here, where it's all gimpy with the bus. Okay. All right. Well, let's go check that out and then. Uh, 
after if we have some time, we'll go, go take a quick peek at the city. I'm not sure I want to dive into that one, because I found out the harder the biome, the harder the city as well, too. That is for sure. What's up, Mr. Shotguns? Okay, so we're pretty clear here. Where does the road split off? This is a little wonky. Does it split off up there? Oh, I see. It splits off right here. That's why we have this little bit of a cliff. Wow, that is really wonky. Let's go this way and uh, see what this way has to offer us, if it's any better. What's up, zombies? Yeah, just garbage again. Cigar and some lead weights. And that's why I break them open, because otherwise I wouldn't have stopped to loot it anyways. And I mean, what's the chances of me coming back and looting that garbage bag anyways? You know what I mean? Ugh, this winter biome sucks. What's up, rabbit? Let's hope you get stuck on something. I uh, did come across a few uh, few chickens again on my way back to my base, which is always good, because chickens give you feathers and they give you meat, and both is quite useful. We're actually going to go ahead and start getting rid of some of this stuff here. There we go. That's sick, though. I found the auger blade. Like, I don't think I've ever found an auger blade this early in the gameplay. Well, it is day 20, but it still feels early just because of the progression. It's, it's, it's very slow. All right, well... This way it looks like it's not going to lead us to that disastrous city. I'd rather deal with a snow biome at the moment than have to deal with that crazy-ass burnt forest biome because um, there's some badass shit that goes on in there. And uh, these lumberjacks can fuck themselves, too. Good thing they're slow. Definitely good thing they're slow. Shit, this winter biome looks like it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. But it looks like we have some forest poking out from the winter biome, so we'll be okay. We're at uh, 50 degrees. It's all good. A cigar, cigar again. Nothing but a bunch of garbage. Okay, I guess I'll drink some water. Get some at least some stamina back. Oh, look at this! Oh, ooh, ooh! Good thing I caught that one last second. That's a that's a friggin' uh, zombie bear right in the forest biome or right in the snow biome. Damn, that would have stuck coming across that one. That would have been an instant death, that's for sure. So many enemies. Look at them all. They're just all over the place. I'm sitting here trying to catch my stamina back up so I can keep running. What's up, zombie? Alright, let's, let's get out of here because I don't want to freeze anymore. We are down to 32 degrees. And that that's not good. That's not good. We definitely don't want that. There we go. Now we're in a nicer biome. Is that a city I see over there? Is that a city? Do we got some sights to see? What do we got? Alright, so we're not going to freeze in anymore. Our temperature is rapidly going up, which is always good. I um, I honestly really wish they just threw the stats on the HUD in, in vanilla. Like, I know they're against it because they don't want to, like, clutter the screen. But honestly, having your temperature and stuff there is, is like, critical. It, it's, it's just... Those last few seconds, because you don't want to open up to see what temperature you're at uh, when you're being chased and crap, right? That's never fun. Okay, sweet. What do we got here? We got uh, we got something down this way. Ooh, what is that down there? We got to go check that out. We need to go check that out. I see yellow. Do you guys see yellow down there? We need to go check that out. If that's corn, though, that's cool, because I'll definitely grab that up. We can use those for uh, kebabs and stuff. Uh, very, very useful. Man, that, that guy's gun is dead already. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, that's just like corn. Or is it wheat? Is it wheat? Can I really see wheat from that far away? No way. Whatever. Um, I guess it's useful, right? I mean, I, I guess I should grab it. Go pick some wheat. Get our wheaties. Grab some uh, arrows or feathers as well. May as well. See, these are good. These are only three seconds long to loot. These aren't bad. I don't mind bird's nest at all. Alright. We have a survivor over there. We have, um... Damn. Because I see the road. Where does it go? Oh, look at that. We have we have some more, um... Some more tropical stuff. Oh, it goes over there. Oh, let's go check that out. That looks fucking cool. Yeah, we're gonna go check that shit out. Man, I haven't been this excited about exploring. Since I first started Seven Days to Die, to be completely honest, I do hope that when the um, that when the workshop opens for Seven Days to Die, that POIs explode. That you can like start new maps with hundreds of POIs you've never even touched before. 
That would be insane. Imagine the oh a sunflower. How pretty. Huh. I wonder what this is used for. It has no recipe or anything, but I'm definitely gonna grab them up. I've never seen these before. These are freaking cool. Sunflowers. Wow. And even coming across a bunch of random stuff. That that way, like playthroughs would be fun, right? Like, you get the day, um, let's say, 100, and you're max stuff, you're not having fun anymore. You load a completely new random gen up with a whole bunch of new POIs you haven't seen, and a whole bunch of new other stuff you haven't seen, and you're good to go again, right? It's a whole other discovery. I cannot wait until modding's a thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can pick these up, too, for uh, bamboo. Bamboo is very useful as well, too. Um, I'm very close to being able to fish, which is pretty exciting. I want to get fishing. And I also do want to build... Oh, I think this is a spa. We've been to this one before. I don't, I don't even want that. The spa actually kind of sucks. Uh, there's not There's not much to it. There's, um, there's a little bit of a basement and stuff to it, but it's not worth clearing just to get in there. So we're going to head this way. What do we got ahead of us again? That's right. we got to go back down here. Wow. That was a big walk for nothing. <laughs> I've seen some wheat. We went and scrolled that out. Ooh, weather sports bag. Let's see what this has got for us. These two, if you're in a hurry, you can break them down and get cloth from them as well, too, in one hit. See, that gave me three cloth. And if you're in a hurry, slap it, pick up whatever it drops, and keep running, right? Okay, um... Nothing that way, nothing this way. We gotta head back towards the road. It does seem... Oh, you know what? These tropical trees. Now, someone said to go and punch these tropical trees. So, I mean, we're here right now. We may as well try it, and man, like, I need bamboo to build a raft as well, too, so we're gonna have to take a little bit of a sidetrack. Adventuring with Skippy, I love this. Uh, now, I do realize that this mod does share some similarities with um, Starvation mod, but these these are packs, right? Like, um, they, they stuck in, like, extra POIs that the, the mods share from other modders. It's kind of like the workshop idea, right? Like, kind of like that idea, but the guy who makes this, like, the whole balance and everything does it all himself. He does a great job. But this, this is amazing, all this bamboo. Grab it up while we can. I only think I had like 10 back home, so may as well get it while we see it. Don't come across that much water, actually, to be honest. So finding a nice fishing lake? Well, I should make myself a nice fishing cabin and a, a nice fishing lake and call that my retirement house once I'm all uh, once I'm all like done up. That'll be my, my go-to thing at the end. All right, so let's go ahead and punch this tree and see what happens. Nothing. Yeah, I'm not getting any coconuts. I'm not getting nothing from that tree. So it doesn't look like he included the uh, the coconuts or anything into the into the mod. But we got to make sure we're headed the right di direction, and we are back up through this field of wheat. That's funny though. I can see those all the way from the road. They're so distracting. What do we got? Oh, you know what? I still need stones too because I don't think I have very many. Seventeen. Oh, we have we have quite a bit. Let's uh, turn what we have into arrows now. Oh yeah, I also have brass I can use up, but screw it. I can use stone first. There we go. Is this another nest? Nice. I hear we have incoming. They can stay behind us so, and because of that fact, I'll take that stuff. Man, oil drops like a madman in this uh, this playthrough as well too. I don't know if that's modded to be that way or if like, oh you know what? Maybe oil's made to use uh, made gun oil, and that's for like repairing your guns and stuff. I haven't even looked into that crap. If any of you have, definitely I'd love technical hints. If you guys can drop me any technical hints in the comments, let me know. Uh, please no spoilers. Like don't tell me a certain POI has this in it. I'm still discovering them, so it's a ton of fun. I know I am on YouTube and uh, spoilers are gonna happen, but. I do my best to avoid them, that's for sure. And uh, we do have some uh, slight moderation on the channel, so I might not see them, which would be nice. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get headed towards that city again. See what's going on down, down in that bad boy. Whoa, bitch. Okay, where's that city? We're headed in this direction. Here we go. Yeah, like now that she's behind me, I'm actually going to head and just loot that crap. Then I can keep running. Uh, she's not even that close, but whatever. It is what it is. Triggering so many people right now. Grab that plank. I don't even need the plank. Nothing that one. Okay. 
scrap. Oh, wait, the city wasn't this way. What am I even thinking? Ah, whatever. Let's keep going. We still have a whole uh, inventory here to fill up with loot. Wow. I'm glad I went this way. It stays into the forest biome. And that's really where I want to be sticking right now. Because those other ones spawn in some real special zombies. And some of those are really badass. If you're just joining this for the, the first time, definitely go and uh, check out the other videos as well, too. The playlists are down in the description. Um, there's some uh, really crazy cities that will kick your ass if you're not ready for them. Uh, like the hub city. The hub run was insane. That's where I lost a lot of my um, uh, my wellness. It was there because I, I died a few times, all dumb-like. All right, we still have nothing. Do we have any roads? Have I ran by? Oh, oh, we ran by a road over here because I am blind. Looks like it's up and over that way. And is, is that a taxi cab over there? I think that's a taxi cab going on. I want to check that out because I've never seen a taxi. Cool. Ah, what? Whoa, look at this little bugger. What the fuck? That thing's creepy as fuck. Where did it even come from? How the fuck am I supposed to see those things? You little fucking asshole. That scared the shit out of me. Wow, these things are tough as buggers. Is it like a trap? Oh, you know what I think this is? I think this is a trap. Cause, oh, I got, okay, I got two of these from it. What do I need? Uh, can be crafted in anti-venom in the campfire in the cooking pot. Okay, awesome. So we'll be back uh, home, I think, before we really get affected by the anti-venom. So I can make some anti-venom back home. Okay, holy crap, that spider was nuts. I've never come across one of those before. <laughs> Fuck me, spider poisoning. What does that even give you? Let's go ahead and take a look at our character here. Minus one stamina every three seconds. God damn, you gotta be attacking that stamina. What do we got over here? Oh, this isn't a taxi cab. It's a Lano's. Why did I think this looked like a taxi cab? Eh, whatever. Nothing in it. Lan or is it a Lens or a Lano's? That's a Lano's. I can barely even tell. All right. Give me your goods and let's go check out what's down this roadway. Hopefully it's something. Oh, it's going to be right along the border of this really shitty biome as well here too. Ooh, I wonder. I hope it doesn't go into that biome. That would suck. So hard to clear like that. What's he holding? He has a shotgun. Got a spitter over there. I can just avoid any interaction with him. Wow, this goes really, like. Uh, I hope it doesn't go right into that biome. I hope we get lucky. Uh oh oh look at that! We have a cave in up there. I love it when those happen. It happened a little early, but oh, you know why it happened early? It's because a zombie walked on it. Well, thank you, zombie, for saving me from falling into a hole, man. Oh, look at that. A zombie actually saved my ass this time. It's actually been a little bit of an adventure. I'm having a tons of fun. Although we haven't come across anything in the second half. That's awesome. Just watching that collapse and having those zombies. Wow, that's 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 awesome. All right, let's, get, let's keep going here. Ooh, what is this? I see something that really perks my interest. And we're coming up on it. Oh, yeah, this actually, you know what? If I walked this way, I would have come across this the first time. These roads are really long that come off the main roads. Wow. They must have made that on purpose, I think. Okay, let's check this out. What is this? Um, it is a big thing. Is this a hockey stick? Is that what that's supposed to be? The fuck is this? It's a park. It's kind of fucking cool. I just... I don't know what that thing in front of the park's supposed to be. I, I know it's like some sort of symbol, of course, but... Oh, there's even more road this way? No way. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's take care of the local population. And then uh, let's go check out this park. This park's pretty fucking sick looking. Uh, I've never seen one before, so... And I like how it's like just right in the middle of the road, too. That's freaking awesome. Ooh, he almost, he almost hit me. Come here, woman. Thank you, Darlene. You can stay there. Those two, those two are breaking away in for me. Thank you very much. Is he, uh, is he still derping? Yeah, he's still derping. I do not want to fight these guys on a slope either. Fighting these guys on a slope is such a pain in the ass. Come here. My skill in hunting is now level 15. 
So hitting these guys with these knives is actually improving my hunting skill. That's awesome. Not entirely sure what a hunting skill does, but I'll definitely uh, check it out at some other point because I don't know what that is, and I haven't been noticing it going up. I think I just uh, took for uh, took for granted or assumed that it was going into sharp sharp weapons and stuff. Yeah, they kind of get derped out. It's almost like they stand there after a while and just take it. There we go. Yeah, you didn't like that, eh? Alright, um, I guess I'm going to have to drink some water. I'm getting very low on stamina. Didn't bring much for the uh, stamina side on me. That's okay, though. A little at a time. Oh, there goes her head. <laughs> I fucking love those crits. And I broke my stone knife at the same time. Yeah, another slot for loot. Will not complain. Oh, sweet. She went down easy. Alright, guys, come here. Let's go towards this really glitchy hole in the ground. Oh, nice. Geo 7's down. Actually, you know what? This knife is a lot better, so we should be doing a lot more damage as well, too. Even with a little bit of a higher stamina. So we're down to 4. Unless there's a, some other crawler surprises up in here. Another nurse goes down. I think. Now she's down. And this guy should go down after a couple hits here as well, too. Come on, buddy. There we go. Oh, we still got a few incoming. Damn it, you bastards. Whatever. They can just derp out there while I loot these guys. How about that? Ooh. Definitely keeping that. Scavenging 35. Nice. We're getting closer. Getting closer. Go ahead and scrap all that. Camping cookbook. That was a camping cookbook? We're going to take a look at that in a second here, too, once we clear these guys out. What's up, Bo? I think that was Bo. Oh, you know what, actually? Really easy access to their heads. How about that? Awesome. And then we'll go backstab this guy once more. Whew. Or I'll attempt to. This guy's actually kind of tall. There goes his head. Awesome. Come here. <laughs> you guys just die and get over to me, eh? There you go. Maybe that'll, uh, that'll smarten that guy up. Get him out here. Nope. Definitely not smartened up. Oops. A little off the draw on that one. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Just a pile of bodies all over the place. Awesome. Well, it's getting much, much easier to clear these places out now. That is for sure. Um, like, just even being able to make these stone knives is, is a blessing. Because uh, they, uh, they, they do a lot of damage. They actually really make good weapons. And they're easy to make. Okay, what do we got here? We got, um... Oh, that's a corpse. That's not even an actual, an actual body. These are BDU bottoms. I don't know why I always said bow. I never actually looked at them closely. I don't know what BDU even means, to be honest. Uh, so that never occurred to me that it said BDU. My bad. Oh, what's up? Where did you even come from? I don't appreciate that. I'll pick up that small stone. We got some coffee beans and stuff laying around. We got some garbage laying around. Oh, you made it through. Come here. Oh, we got more than a couple here now. We got a few pissed off ones right there. See, these guys tried to get up through the pews. But being idiots, they didn't make it. That guy, that guy took some head damage. Come here. There we go. He's down. This guy should go down in a couple shots as well, too. Come here. Ooh, it's almost nighttime. And this does not look like a really um, friendly place to hide out, to be honest. There's not really any tall buildings on this one. But that is okay. If I really need to, I'll hide out on like one of the top of these buildings and just be really, really quiet. Now, that is a boring night, but hell, sometimes it's absolutely needed. What have you got for us, corpse? We've barely even uh, broken into this place. All right. So we got uh, corpses. Corpses, a dough. A dough all over the place. Ugh. These garbage bags piss me off how long it takes to go through them, to be honest. Okay, uh, we'll scrap that. We'll scrap that. Uh, we'll scrap these nails we'll have on us. Those lead fishing weights can go fuck themselves. Okay, I already know this one, so I'm going to actually scrap that for paper. There we go. And if I actually do have room on the way back for some reason, I will stop by the other build or the other POI and grab off or grab up all the stuff we left there last time because I couldn't even bring a full load back. But there's still a lot of valuable stuff in there. Okay. So I don't want to break down those shotgun shells because I don't really care... Uh, that's locked. Because uh, I don't really care about the 
uh, the lead at this point. I do have quite a bit of lead back at the base. Uh, scrap. You know what, let's just break into here. Because this will also give us a door handle as well too, so that's very useful. Come here. Break this door down through its various stages and... Oh, it didn't give us a door handle? I thought you got a door handle every time. That's my bad. See, there's another assumption as well too. Okay, nothing in the fridge. See what this fridge has for us. I am getting a little bit hungry, so it would be nice to find something to actually eat at this point. Because I do like staying above a certain level so that I can keep healing my damage. Okay, we're going to scrap that. And I really, really want to make an anvil so we can get uh, like our second stage of tools and stuff. You guys know what I mean. There we go. Uh, it was a storage chest for us. Probably nothing good. I actually really don't find too much good in a uh, storage chest. Just uh, random crap like blue jeans and whatnot. Okay, and we have some garbages over here. I'm going to just break these open because honestly, I just don't have the patience right now. Moldy bread, I will take. Then we got the corpse. It's too bad the corpse didn't take too long to break down or I would smash him up too. Holy crap. Alright. Painkillers. Didn't really need them, but I will take them. Because eventually I probably will. Uh, what else we got in here? I wonder if there's an underground to this place. Oh, you know what this is? This is a mini golf place. I figured it out. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know what? Do I have empty, empty glass jars on me? I do. Why not? Um... This is a mini golf place. That, that's a golf club. I get it now. And this is like all the little mini golf uh, courses. It's not a park. It's mini golf. Ah, oh, that's freaking awesome. It would be sick if this had like some crazy ass bunker or something underneath it. I highly doubt it, but I would love to see that. That would blow my mind and make for a good episode because these, uh, these POIs kick some ass. All right, let's go break into this building over here. This looks like a storage shed. Uh, so we're going to break through the door. And yeah, see, we, we got a doorknob that time. So it doesn't always give them to you. But most of the, maybe it is a high probability on the chance that they actually drop. We'll, we'll call it that one. Oh, nice. Look at that. Another mining helmet. It's even better than the one I have. Sick. Nice. Now we have a backup because that one's going to break soon. And I do not have the means to repair it at this point. Oh, that is sick. So today's loot run has been the absolute best. Actually, this weekend's loot run period has been absolutely amazing. But I think we're out of time here today, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just finish searching up this place. I mean, there's not much. There's some garbage cans. Uh, it looks to be some lockers. I don't see anything crazy. I'm definitely taking that weapons part. Um, I don't really see anything else crazy here, but I will definitely take a second look and I uh, will see you guys in the next episode, either back at my base or if there's something exciting here. But anyways, guys, as usual, stay classy, always survive, and I will see you later. Hit it, you bunch of dirty hippies.